All right. We are going to show you how to adjust the valves on a 22R, 22RE, 22RTE engine, as well as several others. 20R is the same valve adjustment technique, as well as a few other engines, but this focuses on the 22R. So here's the engine we're gonna adjust the valves on. Here's the tools we're gonna to use to do it. Flat screwdriver, 12 millimeter box wrench, a ratchet and a crankshaft socket, and a set of feeler gauges. We're gonna be setting these valves to six and eight thousandths because it's a performance cam and that is the required lash adjustment per the cam manufacturer. If you're working on a stock engine, Toyota recommends eight and 12 thousandths. We recommend seven and 11 if you're doing it cold. So here we go. Right now we are on top dead center. We know that because we see the keyway is up or if there was a pulley here, you would see that the timing mark would line up with zero and the dowel pin on the cam is up, which means we're top dead center number one. And that's where you're gonna start. We're gonna start with exhaust one and three and intake one and two so here we go take your feeler gauge get it underneath the tappet start adjusting the screw until you start feeling pressure and drag on the tappet and in the feeler gauge when you get about three pounds of pressure pulling it out you will then lock down and then double check the clearance. And repeat that. Just a little bit of drag. Lock it down before you take the screwdriver off. Double check it by sliding it out. So that was exhaust side cylinder number one and three and intake side cylinder number one and two. That's with this dowel pin up. Now we're going to rotate the engine 360 degrees, which you'll notice the crank goes a full revolution. So we're going to have the keyway back up at zero. But now that dowel pin is not there. It's straight down. I don't know if you can see it, but it's directly down, pointed at six o'clock. So now we are gonna adjust two and four on the exhaust side and three and four on the intake side. Same exact procedure, same exact tools. See how we're holding the screwdriver in place while we tighten the nut? That's because sometimes that nut will turn the adjuster screw a little bit. So we keep a real good grab on that screwdriver while we're tightening the nut and make sure that 
adjuster screw doesn't turn. And there you go, valve adjustment on a 22R or RE engine.